function. Baby, I'm a <laughs> so, for my Gina and Mali, um, I, I volunteer with Africa for SDGs and ICY Africa. I'm sure we've, I've met most of you, yeah. Yeah. unless you're a newcomer, but I think I know most of you. And uh, it's a pleasure coming back to Rongo University and Kanga Primary, and uh, look forward to working together. Yeah, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, my name is Emmanuel Marasha and I'm just part of SDJ and uh, I'm in Mount Kenya University. I'm, I was in Kanga High School and I'm doing dental surgery right now. Good evening. I'm Evanda Marco Tieno from Oma Bay. I'm part of ICY Africa. Oh, I'm well able. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, why am I not hearing everybody? Good evening. Nah, that is really that is uh, that is uh, yum yum. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Yes, my name is uh, Dr. Joe Bonga. I'm very very happy to be here and. Uh, for the university students, sorry we delayed. We went to your institution, then we came back. Among other things that we've been doing today, we've been just visiting schools around Homer Bay County, and we have landed here. We are very, very excited. I know a few faces. Some faces are very familiar. I even know some faces from the primary school. Yeah, those guys I saw last year. Hey, yeah, ah, look at her. Yeah, look at them. Yeah. I know, yeah, ooh, this one. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, the dancer. <laughs> Does the teacher know how good you are at a dancer? I'll tell him. So, <laughs> so what I want to say is just build your talents, build your academics. I tell you the truth. Uh, as a young person, I know I'm addressing university students and the primary school students here. I want to tell you there is no limit, okay? <laughs> Uh, there is no no limit. There is no limit. Like you can go the farthest you can go. Eh? I was telling my staff I'm doing my third PhD, and I'm so excited because if you love learning, learning loves you. Eh? It is about attitude. If you say ah oh, I can't, then I can't will come and hug you, and when I can't hugs you, you become friends with I can't. But I want to be a friend of I can. Imagine if I can is your friend. Anything that comes, I can do it. Anything that comes, I can do it. And all the good things, okay? So if you look at this book, I like this one. Before Mualimu comes, I, I like this one on choices. honesty, my breakouts. But choices? <laughs> uh, who, who has choices? Yeah, uh, yeah, so choices. Uh, it's really like something that I really like because life is about choice. Yeah? There's a time in the Bible where there was this guy, what is his name by the way, Aaron, and he was telling his guys, like, you choose today who you will serve. But for me and my family, we have made this decision. We are going to serve God. We are going to do what? Uh -huh. Before I woke up today, I had made a decision yesterday that I can do anything, but today you must come to Kanga Primary School, isn't it? Everything you do in life is a choice. Even the way you are dressed today is a choice. Even the way you are looking at me is a choice. Like you can decide just look at me and smile. But you just decided to be like, huh? Another <laughs> nyeni <laughs> You see? Choices. Eh? Cho what? Choices. Choices. Everything. Even for us to come to uh, Rongo uh, University is a choice. You to sit here is a choice. So, young man, for this guy to sit here with you, he has made the decision that you have to succeed. Sindio? So, make good use of him. Ask him all the hard questions, personal questions, public questions. Ask him even how Azimio lost. He should be able to tell you. Okay, he should be able to tell you. They are all choices, okay? All, all choices. So, um, sister, how are you? I tell you. I have been a university lecturer for over five years, and I can tell you, I see young people who make wrong choices, live 
bad lives and I've seen students who make good choices live good lives. Nime nyekeja hata make good choices life ile itakuwa hard but at least you are you are proud that you made a good choice. You know the good thing about good choice it also gives you personal satisfaction. How many of you have saved and saved and saved and then you still got broke? You are happy at least you did what? You saved. You saved. But we keep you poor at all you are kojagi. I love you face right now. You feel bad that you made the wrong decision. Yes, and if I was talking to my colleagues who've been married, then I would also tell them about the choices we make in wives, isn't it? <laughs> University student. Najua huko ndani mkiwa huko mnaona tu kila mtu ni material. But not all of them are wives material, see there. Ndio. Aya, how many university students did not choose to be here and you chose to be here? Some of them are sleeping in the hostels now. Some of them are watching football, some of them are playing video games. Some of them are na lala tu. Na wengine. You know so so what I'm simply saying is that everybody makes a choice and I want to say we are grateful that for you university students you made a choice to be with these young people. The only way we can change this country is by investing in these young people. These young people. I remember one time we were having dinner in my in my parents in my parents home uh, when we were in Nairobi all of us and then I told them I want to have a PhD before I'm 30 and they all laughed at me and they said it is impossible and they didn't know that I had just crossed the the, the road met my neighbor and I asked my neighbor hi and I was just a young guy I asked my neighbor hi so what do you do and he told me I'm a professor at the school of medicine I was like wow like you're a professor yeah and it's like he's talking big and he's big with a big stomach. I'm like, wow. He also made a choice to let his stomach grow. <laughs> <laughs> so he told, I asked him, how can I become like a professor? I wanted to become a professor. And he was like, oh, it's very hard and blah, blah, blah. And I asked him, how did you first get your PhD? He said, I got my first PhD before I'm 30. And he said, I was the youngest in my class. And I got a scholarship and then another scholarship. And now the second question in our Kenya, how can I get a scholarship? <laughs> <laughs> so he told me, work very hard, make sure your grades are the toppest because the scholarship is not given to a fool for looking good. That one is only done by those guys doing plastic surgery. But <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> that's also a choice, it can mukore. So anyway, <laughs> what happened is he told me that. And so I went home, I was so charged. I was charged. I went home and I told them in dinner, like, I want to be a professor. They all looked at me like, Omera TMK yet to work. TMK, you know, TMK, you know, you know. And I was like, hey, uh, Chuanyonga, you know, for those of you who don't understand Lua, they were like, eat or leave the table. And I was like, okay, fine. But I knew deep inside, I've been inspired. I've been inspired. And I became a college professor, a college lecturer. An adjunct lecturer at 25. My first, my first, when they were saying, okay, the Mzungu was like, good morning, class. Uh, today we have a new adjunct. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> 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 my students thought I am a student. So the students thought I'm a new student, and for that matter, a black student. So they were looking at me like, <laughs> <laughs> they were chewing whatever mirror. And then, uh, <laughs> then I told her, good morning class, I'm going to take you through. I was teaching faculty of education. So I was teaching teachers, child psychology. So the Jean Piget, the whatever, those things. Hey, man, see, I swaggered the psychology, child psychology. These guys are like, tell me how you succeeded. You know, when you succeed, you become an example to everybody who wants to succeed. So the good thing in life is that even if you choose to be a bad person, God might still use you as a bad example, isn't it? <laughs> so you can still be useful as a bad example. Usikwe kama yule, unona nyasore mefanya abe. You know, that person is still useful, isn't it? Because without bad people, we won't even have a comparative element, isn't it? See, there's always a constant, a variable, an intervening variable. Now there are bad constants. They are always the ones we say, kikubed kajoka ngane. Kocha pogoti, you know? Give it all away with it. Get it, go go see it. You know? So.
So that is what I'm simply saying. And by the way, I did it. And by, if I'm standing before you here, it's because I'm proud of the effort. Don't think, I, w I used to tell people I never even dated in university. And they're like, what the hell? How did you survive? I was like, I wanted a GPA. By the time I joined university, I found another guy from Suba. I went to Cleveland University in the US. And then the guy saw me and I'm like, another Kenyan. I said, what did Kenyans do? There was a guy from Suba. He was called Nanjom or Nanjom or something like that. He got clear GPAs. You know the way GPA is 4.0. He got 4.0 over 4.0. He got A's all. Like he used to be, the Wazungus used to make him do an exam twice because they thought he cheated. He would even do an exam with a professor watching just to confirm. So this guy left and I got his email. I asked him, Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I do a rock hard one. Oh, really? Ah, we will cut a cover. So. <laughs> And then he told me one thing, keep off, keep off relationships, because he gave me a mathematical formula. This guy was just a genius. He gave me a mathematical formula. He told me, if you if a day, if a year has 365 days, how many hours does a year have? How many hours does a year have? How many minutes do you need to take with a girl or a boy if you're dating? You can <laughs> dating is serious, isn't it? Okay, here I don't go to the So, he didn't go to the house. He So, what I enjoy is a fire cover in the house. He didn't go to the So, he didn't go to the house. He didn't go to the Anyway, so, uh, so what happened is uh, uh, he told me this is the secret. Calculate the amount of time. There is what we call Social expenditure. Social expenditure is what Africans don't know how to calculate. The amount of time you spend with someone to understand, to get confident. Social expenses, I don't, if I meet this guy, like I've met Mwalimu there, we've had time. I can calculate how long we had. That is my social expense. So when I go home, I'll be asking myself, I spent good time with Mr. Mark. How much time did I spend with Mr. Mark? What did I achieve? within that time. So you have to calculate your social expenditure. But you know for you African school, maybe it is easy because you're like, hey, hi, hi, I love you, me too, let's go. So maybe that is very, <laughs> you spend so little to get so much. But there are people, if you are in a school of people who are in intellectuals, they want to be convinced with more time and more commitments and more everything. If you look at it, it could be an hour or two. I tried one day to go for just to go and see what people do in debt, it took the whole afternoon. That was the first time I had a, a B plus. <laughs> and I was so annoyed, I went and asked for a retake. And I started realizing that the more time I spent socializing, I didn't come from a family that would say, oh yeah, we have everything figured out. Before I went to the US, my mom and my dad called all of us and my siblings, and he told me, look at them. <laughs> We are many. So we look like a class in, a, <laughs> in an international school. <laughs> so I looked at my brother, looks at them, looks at them. <laughs> my mom said, no, 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 look at them again. I'm like, hey, yeah. So my dog now. Then he said, this is, well, let me say, the guys who are all low, you can align your mindset. He said, you give a bed. okay. No, you give a bed. okay. <laughs> and he said, she said, Kitugo, come make a kidogo you know. <laughs> so when I went, those words of my mom were ringing. Like, how can I come all the way to go back and just find them? You know, the mangen they go to abroad and all they can come back with is a twang, isn't it? So uh, that is how I became a hard worker. I just focused. Now I can tell you for, for, for real, the university students here, if you work hard, you make your money, you can have any girl you want. But let me tell you, if you have every girl you want and you have no money, you can keep no girl. <laughs> so it's up to you to decide. And any podity, any barony podity, even you, if you have all the good grades, you, you'll be loved by every teacher. 
How many of you primary school teachers here? How many of you primary kids? Teachers love you. Just put your hands up. Teachers love you. You see, you are having a problem. <laughs> That's why you joined the mentorship. <laughs> Anyway, if this boy was doing well in math, English, Swahili, everything, this boy, every teacher would be like, be like so and so, atu chelewe. Mtutuwa, eh, atu chelewe. Na aseme, excuse me, sir, I'm so sorry. I was helping my mom. Eh, hey, you go go to class. Go to class. <laughs> Ebu fail na ukuje mapema. Sasa ube choroka jubari. <laughs> <laughs> so please, don't forget choices. I got my GPA. I didn't score like Jasuba. He got 4.4. I got 3.98. I got a scholarship. I continued. I got another scholarship. I continued. If you make the right choice, it's like engaging the right gear. Your vehicle will go smoothly and everything will be smooth to the end. Okay? Then let me leave you with this verse. The Bible says, Watch him that is righteous. Even his end is perfect. Because he is at peace with everyone. That is a verse that is a very encouraging verse. If you are walking in the right way, everybody is at peace with you. The people who are not at peace with you are haters, and they are trying to be like you. And the more consistent you are, the more soon they will join you or copy you. So keep on your lane of success, work hard, and God will bless your efforts. Thank you so much. Mm. Well, uh, I want to appreciate uh, the students who are here. You've been coming. Actually, I've never... I've never known exactly what is in this thing until the director came to my office to share and actually I realized how important this uh, mentorship that we are doing is important to our young learners here. And uh, remember I asked some two gentlemen about their uh, moral. How did I put it? I said, do you have the moral authority to hang around and talk to these young kids? Uh, I had that in mind because I know our students are. Uh, I'm a parent. I've had them. Currently, I even have others who joining. I know how these, these young boys and girls behave. So I was questioning myself, so how will this young chap from university to come and interact with my young people around? Because the way they put on sometimes, the way they talk, the way they, they do their thing, might not be a good example to these young Kenyans. But after talking with him, and giving a few books, I think I'm convinced that you're in the right course. As much as you are mentoring these young people, I believe even you people, you are somehow learning. And that is very important. I actually have appreciated the way you interact with them. Some of them, have, they have not lived enough to get experience in life. Some of them feel that if you're in university, that's the, the end of everything. That is not the end. It's a beginning. It's a beginning, actually. We've seen so many from university that they're not worth what they took from that university. So we expect somebody from the university to carry their character, to carry whatever took him there. We expect somebody that is holistic, somebody who has virtually everything, that if the young people see them, they can be, they can learn from them. The way you speak, the way you talk, the way you do everything. So, from today on, I'll, I'll, I will even ask you to come more than two times in a week, if you get time. Because I know how, out of this, this group will be good people. Uh, look at this young boy. He's a good boy, uh, but currently he's going down. So whoever is handling him, get to know what is his problem. Look at him. Give him dance, we'll be number one. <laughs> yeah? So, once again, Dr. thank you so much. Thank you so much with your team. Thank you for picking our school. Uh, we shall continue to partner with you people. Whatever you want us to do, we shall. Because at the end of the game, these young kids will be good kids. And that is what we hope to see. Now, after in our absence, I've been a teacher for the last, is it almost 30? I've been a teacher for the last 23 years. So quite a number of passed through my hands, right? And I'm sorry, that young man, that boy, you stand. 
Yeah, yeah. Come to my village. The other day, the brothers are back home. I call him and start back there. You can, you can share with him and tell you who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I don't have a market where I, I sell nonsense. <laughs> I really don't have even the young kids they know that I don't I don't I don't sell and therefore I don't buy. So if you're coming down, I need to see people who are polished, people who are good.